Rafael dos Anjos announced himself as a contender for Taryn Woodley's welterweight crown with her one-sided decision victory over former champion Robbie Lawler in the main event of UFC Winnipeg on Saturday night. The former UFC lightweight champion Dos Anjos praised Lawler's toughness in his post-fight interview and insisted that the dominant victory would be enough to secure his title shot against Woodley. With the victory, Dos Anjos improved to 3-0 as a UFC welterweight following his loss to current lightweight champion Tony Ferguson in November 2016. Rafael Dos Anjos enjoyed a one-sided decision victory over Robbie Lawler on Saturday night the Brazilian celebrates following his victory in the main event of UFC Winnipeg. In my opinion, I just beat the toughest guy in the division, said Dos Anjos. I think I deserve it because of my history. I did what I did in the division. I have been 10 years in the UFC already and I think I did enough tonight to deserve that title shot. Dos Anjos looked like he was on the verge of finishing the fight when he unloaded on Lawler for 23 seconds in the second round. When the onslaught subsided, Lawler jabbed his way back into the fight against the tiring Brazilian. He peppered Lawler with leg kicks throughout the affair and by the fourth round Ruthless had completely changed his stance in order to keep balance. Despite Dos Anjos landing liberally over the final 10 minutes, Lawler managed to hear the final bell despite his injured leg. After his win over Lawler, Dos Anjos said he beat the toughest guy in the division. Josh Emmett announced himself in the featherweight title conversation with a devastating left hook knockout of former championship contender Ricardo Lamas in the first round of the co-main event. Although Emmett came in overweight, he was far more active than Lamas, constantly trying to lunge into exchanges. In the final 30 seconds he landed the finishing blow, which knocked Lamas out on contact. Emmett claimed he shocked the world with the emphatic upset win. My goal was to come out here and shock the world. I think I might have, said Emmett in his post-fight interview. Santiago Ponzinibbio scored a unanimous decision win over Mike Perry after a thrilling three-round, welterweight clash. Platinum came out strong, marching the Argentinian down, but Ponzinibbio grew into the fight and highlighted his momentum when he knocked Perry down in the third with a spinning back fist. Josh Emmett Wright knocked out Ricardo Lamas in the first round of the co-main event Emmett celebrates after announcing himself in the featherweight title conversation speaking after the fight, Ponzinibbio called for an interim title fight with the winner of the main event clash between Lawler and Dos Anjos. Glover Teixeira is best known for his knockout power, but he put on a grappling clinic against Misha Sirkino of finishing the fight in the first round with a rear choke. Considered a blue chip prospect up until his first round knockout loss at the hands of Volkan Ishnamir earlier this year, Sirkino was getting the better of the action in the striking exchanges but the Brazilian took him to the canvas where he expertly applied a rear choke to finish the contest. Polish light heavyweight Jan Blachowicz continued his resurgent form with a unanimous decision over fellow ranked light heavyweight Jared Cannonier. Despite Cannonier coming out strong in the final round, Blachowicz was able to see out the round after a dominant showing in the first two rounds. The three UK fighters that were in action in Winnipeg came up short. Santiago Ponzinibbio scored a unanimous decision win over Mike Perry on Saturday. Glover Teixeira left, finished his fight versus Misha Sirkinov in first round with a rear choke. Darren Stewart, who was signed by the UFC as an unbeaten prospect, had yet to take a victory in three trips to the octagon. Although he troubled exciting debutant Julian Marquez with his straight right hand on a number of occasions, the dentist submitted to a front choke in the second round of the middleweight clash. Spectacular UK-based striker Galorbo Fando scored a bizarre highlight reel knockout over Charlie Ward in his UFC debut back in July, but suffered a first-round TKO loss in his sophomore outing under the promotional banner. After being knocked down off a three-shot combination, Laprise underlined his fight IQ when he took Bo Fando down, established mount and finished him with strikes. England's Danny Roberts was on the end of a highlight reel co when he caught a Nordian Talib head kick inside the first minute of the welterweight showdown. The French striker landed one more punch before the referee stopped the fight. Darren Stewart Wright was one of three English fighters who lost on Saturday night.